Hello, my lovely, lovely Libras, Cross Watchers, and Channel fans. How are you? It is Lori, and I am here to do a love reading for you, okay? Now, this can be a relationship you're in or new love coming in. We're going to find answers such as why maybe there's difficulty within the relationship or why you haven't found one yet, what you can do to make changes. Um, if you're seeking a new person, where or how might you meet them? We'll learn a little bit more about your person, about yourself, we, and we will finish with um, important aspects about the relationship, okay? And what are the benefits and blessings that are coming in? All right, so let's go ahead and clear out any negative energies with the large chimes. It's going to be loud. Please protect your ears. Three, two, one. Let's invite in some fun energy with the smaller chimes. No need to protect your ears. <laughs> All right, we're going to get some cards out here to see what we need to know about this new relationship or your current relationship. Take it as it resonates, okay? All right. So in the first position, we have what is going on in a relationship or why are have you not found a working relationship? The King of Swords, it looks like harsh words may have been spoken or there's a coldness, a distance here. Um, using your head instead of your heart. So there may have been an argument between you and somebody you're already involved with. And harsh words were exchanged, and it could be you're just kind of holding on to what was said. If you're seeking a new person, it looks like your head is taking control and your heart is just closed off. You're feeling cold, distant. You may think you're open to receiving love, but there's something holding you back, and it could be baggage from an old relationship. It could be something somebody said, did, but it, it feels like something somebody said. All right, so harsh words. What can you do to either fix this relationship you're in or to change yourself to open yourself up to new relationships? Four of Cups. Normally, I would say the Four of Cups is about like boredom, okay? But there's nothing boring about this energy right here. This is recognizing the quality of your relationship, okay? I'm hearing um, there's some sort of, okay, for those of you already in a relationship, this is about you, in order to remove any blocks, get the nostalgia thing going. Recognize the good qualities going on here. Dive deeper into your emotions. Ask yourself if it's you, if it's them, or more than likely, if it's not both of you. Coming at the situation from two different points of view, and that's what's actually causing this rift, okay? Um, I feel like a trust was broken here for some people. And this is about deep, deep emotions and being able to release, let things go when you... Uh, have a bubble or a bobbin, what, like a fishing bobbin, and you hold it under the water, if you're holding on to that, it's going to stay under the water. But if you're willing to release the energy of it and just let it go, it will always float to the surface. And what happens when something comes to the surface? You can see it. You can recognize it. You can deal with it. For those of you seeking a relationship this is about you figuring out what you don't like about relationships. What is it? What baggage are you holding on to here? Because you're saying to yourself, I don't want to do the same old, same old. I've done this so many times. And if that's the way you're approaching the relationship, this is you need, <clears throat> there is a need to let that go. 
Because what is the saying? What you focus on expands. So if you're focused on what you don't want, you're going to be receiving more of that. If you're focused on what you do want and the positive aspects of a, a new relationship, then that's what you're going to find. Okay, beautiful. That answers that for both of, you know, both sides. I'm going to pull these down here so you can see the cards for now. I'll put them back up there because I'm going to fill this table with cards. All right, so what else? This is how and where you might be able to repair things or meet this new person. Ace of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay, so those are both beautiful energies here. The Ace of Pentacles, start fresh, okay? Forgive, forget, let things go if you're in an argument. You've got the stag here, which almost always represents the fool energy, starting fresh, but from a point of security, confidence, years of experience. The the whole, the antlers on the stagger here represents the years that have gone by, the time, the transformations with the butterflies that are landing on the antlers here. All right, so there's some sort of stability here. I am hearing for some of you, it is somebody that could be a parent of your child, um, somebody you have a lot of deep love for. So it could be your child. It could be a friend. I don't know what the relationship is here. It does not matter. There's a lot of deep uh, emotions surrounding this relationship. And if you can just remember the give and take and where you've come from, how long you've been together, that will actually help you get past this situation that you're in for those of you seeking love start fresh let go of the past stand firm in knowing that you have been through many relationships or one major relationship that taught you a lot of lessons okay especially about give and take that if you were in a relationship that you had a beautiful relationship and that person passed away or something like that and it's time for you to try something to get back out there Remember all the lessons that you learned. If this is you after a hurtful, painful, disruptive relationship where you gave and gave and gave and that you got nothing back, you learned lessons from that, okay? So be compassionate with yourself. Love and care and take care of yourself here. That goes for either situation. If you are seeking a person, you may meet them out in nature, hiking, biking, kayaking, mountain climbing, roller skating, uh, skiing, any different type of outdoor activity, sitting in a park, listening to music, okay? Um, I do feel that your person, no matter who this is, has children with them when you meet them. Okay, or it could be in a place where children would be seen. So like a park, okay, music in the park or an amusement park or a school, um, a children's doctor's office. Maybe you're bringing your child or grandchild there and that's where you meet somebody else. So there is something about children here. All right, so that's if you're looking for, that may be where you may meet them. What are some of the positive characteristics about your person, um, either the one you're seeking or the one you're already in? The Ten of Swords, they've got a lot of a, in knowledge. They have a lot of experience, okay? They also know how to tune in to their higher power, their higher self, they pay attention to the lessons that they have learned. They are definitely a spiritual person. They have a lot of wisdom. There is no doubt about that. Uh, let's see. These are all the positive characteristics here. I'm also, if you're looking for any type of physical characteristics, um, more of a spiritual type person so quieter possibly um reserved 
contemplative, loves to meditate. Maybe that's where you're going to meet somebody um, in a place where I I'm keep hearing yoga, but that would not be a place for children unless... Unless this is like a magnet type environment, something new specifically for children's meditation to help calm children down, to help them learn how to calm themselves. Some of your people may have blue hair, white hair, salt and pepper hair. There may be a couple of gingers out there. I am hearing that this person will be very honest, very upfront. They may not offer information, but if you ask them, they don't have a problem talking about certain things. They're not going to talk about everything, but I think if you were to ask certain questions, they will answer you honestly. They're not going to hold back. All right, so let's take a look at what you need to know about your person here, okay? Four of Wands. Your relationship with this person will turn out successful. There's a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of stability, transfor transformation throughout this relationship. This is not going to be a comfort zone relationship, okay? There's going to be growth, expansion, visiting new territories, exploring new thoughts and ideas. This is a beautiful relationship. So if you're already in this relationship, you know it. You value this relationship. This is your happy home. This is your happy life. If this is somebody new, you are going to be learning, growing, expanding, checking things out, transforming some of you may learn to play a new instrument because this is that type of energy of learning, that level of learning, learning a new language, learning uh, how to play an instrument, learning how to cook something you've never cooked before and using skills that you've never used before. Those are huge um, brain activity uh Oh, what am I trying to say here? They keep you young, okay? When you engage in something this big, this different from what you're used to, this is what wakes your brain up, keeps you young, keeps you vital, keeps you moving in the future. And that's what this person is all about. They're not going to sit back and sit still and say, oh, I'm married and we're just going to go to dinner every Friday night and, you know, life is just this. Oh, no, they're going to keep learning, exploring, trying new things, growing, expanding. And as a partner to this person, they're going to want the same thing. Now, if you happen to be in a relationship with somebody already and you're in an argument, this is the goal. This may be what has happened is there was some complacency there. Um, and it created this tension of boredom on both of your parts, the four of cups here. Okay, so what you can do is break out of that boredom, break out of that routine, break out of that comfort zone. Learn something new, even if it's just you doing it for now, they will see the benefit of breaking out of the routine too, okay? Ah, oh, I love this. This is absolutely a beautiful message here. Okay, so either type of relationship, and I hope you don't mind that I covered both types in this uh, love reading, because Spirit told me don't focus on one or the other today. It's about relationships, and it's about breaking free, breaking those comfort zones, doing something different, having compassion, learning, growing, continuing, new journeys all the time. Love this. All right. Let's get you some tea leaf messages here. So I can't possibly shuffle all of these at the same time. So we're going to see what comes out here. They're all together, blessings and, um, I don't know, issues or things to be aware of, things to watch out for. I'll take a couple from this deck and then I'll take a couple from this one. All right, look at that Libra reading and you got the scales. 
All right, so let's put those away. And what we have here is, since we've already covered it, scales. Keep your life in balance. That does not mean become harm, um, comfort zone. This means to keep life in check, okay? Checks and balances. When something becomes too boring over here, when one person becomes stagnant, this person's going to feel that, that difference, that variance. In order to get back in alignment with yourself and whoever you're with, either a new person or the person you're with, you've got to find that equilibrium. Okay, don't forget that. Bear energy here. It says danger, especially in money matters. Maybe somebody's so bored with the way they're living their life or they're so used to just going out and spending money, okay, that the other person, that may be what the root of this argument was. I'm also hearing here... This is something holding you back. This may be where you you are holding yourself back here. Baggage, bringing something into a new relationship before you've even started a relationship, okay? All right, let's see what else we've got here. Casket, which says someone going out of your life or the end of a bad situation or a situation. I'm getting that it's the end of a bad situation, okay? You're putting something behind you. You may be letting somebody in the past go. Again, it's that energy of hanging on to something and letting it hold you back, letting it hold you underwater, keeping you from growing, expanding, and enjoying life, okay? Leg, stepping into a new experience. I love that. Absolutely. All of you are transitioning here into a different experience. All right, and hammock, taking a vacation, either physical or mental. So some of you may be going on a trip. Okay, remember I said something about being outdoors. This could be a camping trip. Um, but it could be the physical or mental journey of self-exploration and letting things go, growing, expanding, trusting your intuition, a spiritual journey here possibly for some of you. Beautiful. All right, let's see what we've got here is what might be the most prominent benefit from this particular relationship? What will be the most prominent benefit, good thing to come from this relationship? Love marriage and happiness okay so those three things love happiness and marriage now marriage does not have to be like a a church wedding it could be a a contract between two people a, a commitment okay so take that as it resonates let's see what months either when you may be meeting somebody here or months of importance in this relationship November so it looks like you may be meeting somebody soon very soon okay Are there, ooh, yeah there's definitely another month of importance December so between November and December you may meet somebody new I'm also hearing these could be birth dates of your of your person here these could be anniversary months. I'm hearing the last name Decker and Nova. I'm hearing something about a seasonal change. I'm getting like chariot energy while I'm holding these cards. I'm also hearing something about the winds of fate are changing. All right, so November, December, really important months for this relationship. Okay, let's go ahead and see what the romance angels want to say about this relationship. I will be doing the letter die by the end of this message, okay? All right, Spirit, what would you like to say about this 
uh, relationship here using the Romance Angel Oracle cards here. I do see we have double fours here. So we may look up uh, 44 in the angel number book. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the present moment. Okay? Just by being in the present moment. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. So you could be meeting somebody um, that you will marry down the road. Okay? That's not going to be for everybody. If you're seeking marriage, that may happen. All right, divine intervention here with card 44. Ask for protection. The angelic realm is all around you at this time. The, your angels want you to ask them for help and support with stronger intentions. All right, so you can focus on making sure to ask for protection, guidance in anything that feels really, really deep to you. Make sure your intentions are what you're looking for. If you're trying to clarify your intentions, ask for divine guidance. How do I clarify this to I, receiving what I'm looking for? All right. You also have let go of control issues. Yeah, when you try to force how things come to you, who comes to you, you're not going to get what you receive or not get what you desire. You're going to get what spirit feels is right for you. All right, so you have clear intentions there. There's definitely going to be a chemistry, a physical, emotional chemistry between you and this person. Protection. This person is going to definitely be a spiritual person. Like you have a soulmate connection or something here. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And this is about letting go. Letting go of the control issues. Okay, this is not about trying to control other people. This is about taking control of your own life. How you respect, react, respond. Do you want to focus on the positive? You know, it's always your choice. All right. What else? Anything else here, Spirit? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations are what are going to help you bring the two of you together. Okay. And you will be getting to know each other. All right. Let us see if there's any angel answer oracle messages here. I will get four cards. All right, so if you would like to specifically ask um, for oracle answers and you don't have any ready, go ahead and pause the video until you do and then start it back up when you're ready. Otherwise, let's go ahead and see what the angel answers are for you, my lovely, lovely Libras. The first one is, oh, we've got all four of them right away. Okay. Your first answer is yes, and that is an emphatic yes. So there's no question. It's balanced. It's right. It's like the sun and the moon are together. Everything's in alignment. All right. I don't think I guess you can't see that. Your next answer is be assertive, be confident, be oh, just be confident, okay? Assertive does not mean aggressive, okay? You can be gentle, just be honest, open, um, but stand your ground. That's kind of like seven of wands energy there. And there is abundance, okay? So there is a lot of abundance coming your way with this relationship. And then you may meet this person within the next few weeks, which you've got November and December here. And uh, as you can see, we're in, what, mid-October, somewhere, end of October, somewhere there. So within a few weeks, you will be meeting this person. 
or resolving this situation, whatever it is. All right, let's go ahead and see what the <clears throat> Gilded Lenormand has to say about your, the Gilded Reverie, the Lenormand Gilded Reverie. Spirit, what would you like to tell our viewers, our lovely, lovely Libras? You will bridge the gap. You will find a way to restore balance, harmony, and peace here. You got the bridge. And 38 is 11, which is harmony, peace. That is justice energy, too. All right, so you bridge the gap. So that tells me that if this is a argument that you're trying to heal from, or a separation, a breakup, whatever it is, you're going to bridge that gap. You're going to come back together. If this is you seeking a new person, this is you healing. You're bridging that gap. You're realizing what was holding you back. You've let the bobbin, bobber go, or you've left that air bubble go, and it's floating up to the surface, and you're dealing with the emotions and everything. Oh, look at that. Happy home, happy life. The Four of Wands here. Well, it's the King of Cups, but I'm getting Four of Wands. Again, success, happiness, okay? Joy, a lot of emotional stability here. All right, let's see what else the Gilded has. Okay, some changes are coming your way. Nothing is too small to celebrate. Every single detail, every moment, live in the moment and enjoy, okay? Share in the abundance, share in the bounty, share in the knowledge, share in the security of community, family, friends. If you need help, ask for it. Yeah, there's, okay, um... 43. I'm hearing here with this card, it's a maze, okay? But what I'm hearing is, is there may have, it may have taken you some time to actually connect with this person, but that's okay. You can see that they're there. You're just trying to find your way. You're getting to know each other is what I'm hearing from this. We've got three, three, and three on the cards here. We have four and four here. All right, let's see what else we have. We also have 234, which says you're heading in the right direction. You have seven. Oh, no, that's not for you. Okay, thank you. You have 19 here, which is the institutions, the bureaucracies, the businesses, um, educational entities, wisdom. Six of Swords here, moving, changing uh, course, learning something that makes life easier. That's really nice energy. So you have one, two, three, four, and then this adds up to five. So, and then you've got 10 and 11, seven, 10 and 11. All right, so you got a lot of things there. There's a lot of, uh, you can expect a message from this person or you will send one after you meet this person, but there's a makeup energy here, okay? There's a makeup energy, but this is the Queen of Swords here, which tells me it's going to come from a place of truth, harmony, and honesty. And then you've got this stability here with a 44. Again, it's the little things that add up. So make sure you're paying attention to those things. All right, let's see what the Kipper uh, deck has for you. Spirit, what would you like to tell our viewers, our lovely Libras? Using the Kipper deck here. Great fortune, and this is under the Empress energy, so I am feeling... Peace, harmony, love, abundance, uh, gratitude. Boy, gratitude is really coming through strongly right now. This is going to be a joyful, happy relationship. Especially, I mean, both ways of this, no matter what type of relationship it is, there's so much improvement, so much moving forward, so much growth and expansion here. 
that everything gets gets good, okay? Gets better, just it improves. All right, let's see what else we've got here using the Kipper deck. Change, look at that. We got change somewhere else. All right, with the fives, okay? There's a change coming in here. There might be travel. You might be going new places, learning new things, doing new things. Whatever the situation is, it's about to change. There is a release here. All right. Some of you may be traveling. Yeah, <laughs> what do you think? You think there's a journey coming up here and you're heading in the right direction, okay? Eight, nine, ten. So there's definitely some sort of travel. Oh my gosh, look what's on the bottom of the deck. Sudden wealth. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my gosh, Spirit says stop right there. You are heading in the right direction. You're doing the right things for yourself, um, for your relationship. Some of you may go on vacation to repair this, to take time out of the ordinary day, you know, so that you're not bored doing the same routine you're not in that comfort zone you're breaking things up again you may meet this person outdoors okay in a natural setting take that as it resonates okay let's see what else we have here as oracle messages spirit wants to give you enchanted map 3131 on the clock on the timer, which tells me there's a lot of stability coming in here. 44, four by four. Okay, and again, it's about the little things that are gonna add up to a whole lot of love. All right, if you have not done so already, please tickle, tap, boop, zap, or click on that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are a returning viewer and you have not yet subscribed. If you're new here, I hope you find something that resonates and that you come back in the future. All right, I've got the deck upside down. Cleaning house, yes, get rid of any negative energies here. Start fresh with that ace of pentacles. All right, that's a, a 37, which is a 10. Let go. Don't hold on to anything. Don't hold grudges. Don't hold on to past relationships. Heal the ouch. Look at this. You got 38 again, which is another 11. All right. So this is about you healing the ouch. And again, 37, 38, heading in the right direction. And then you've got 53, which is another 8. Listening. 8 is about the self, too, just so you know. Um, listen with your heart. Listen to your soul. Listen for the signs from your spirit side um, but also listen to your person okay and be listened to you will be able to reignite the passion the love the music that is there between the two of you and you've got 49 which is talisman okay a lesson that is truly learned is earned wisdom. You have everything you need for the success that you are seeking. So all you have to do is listen. That's what Spirit's saying here, okay? Use this as your talisman. Open yourself up. Be ready to find balance, peace, harmony. All right, let's see what else Spirit has for you here. Uh, whispers of love oracle message okay after this i am going to do the letter die nope that's not true all right i will do the letter die but not right after this 37 so you've got 37 and 38 repeated here Act as if your partner is here already. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always take into consideration your relationship with them or who they are or what it is you are looking for, for from the relationship. Spiritual connection, absolutely. And this is card 27, which is a nine. A relationship is has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime soulmate energy there. 
All right, beautiful. All right, let's see what, where is it, Spirit? Thank you. Spirit was telling me to get you what your soul wants you to know here. And then we're going to do the letter die. What is it that your soul wants you to know? Strength. Okay, you have deep inner strength and glorious vitality. Energy. Healing energy and immense vitality. Again, vitality. Flow through you easily and effortlessly. Beautiful messages there, both those. All right, let's do the letter die here. And we're about to knock over two huge trays of cards. I've got to be very careful. <laughs> All right, let's do the letter die and see what comes out here. If you're interested in a personal reading, please go ahead and email me. I will send you all the details you need. Uh, my email address is in the description box below, or if you visit my channel, you'll see all the awesome information there, but my email address is listed there too. All right, let's, and I do wanna take a moment to say thank you to each and every one of you for everything that you do, every like, comment, spending your time here with me, sharing the videos, sharing the love, whatever it is you do, I appreciate every bit of energy, okay? All those teeny tiny little things, they all add up. I love you all to pieces. All right, let's see what Spirit's got for you here. Clarence, Brenda, Jacob, Hannah, hot, hot, I'm hearing hot, I don't know if that's a name, but I'm also hearing hot couture, so somebody may be in the design business, Kentucky, uh, Cave, Nuance, Isabel, Ginger, Jackie, Blake, Theodore, Utah, Vermont. Henry, hang on, hang 10. Victory, West Virginia. Pogo, Hong Kong. Pimento, Vivian, Willie, Susie, Salary, Emily, Donald, Glenn, Glisten, Fossey, Rosary, Rosemary, Mimi, Senior, I just heard Smokey. Oh boy, what am I smelling? Honey, honey, ginger honey, clover, Clo it's clover honey I'm smelling. I can't believe I can smell anything, obviously that's psychic. All right, um, I'm seeing the number six in Roman numeral. So V-I, I'm hearing Virgo. Band, Bangor, Wagon, Wagon View. I think that's like, I'm seeing the, on the side of a building, like a name of a business. 
Casey, Chauvin, 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 okay, Tanya, Tina, Trina, Tremaine, Ricky, Remy, Rosie, Rhode Island, East, East Denmark, East e Easy Street, Ducky, Mercy, Kathleen, Katie, Kelly, Donald, Dennis, Dentist, Doctor, DC, eh, that's a, like a Canadian thing I'm hearing, A, 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 um, I think that's it for that one. All right, what else have we got here? Yellow, Young, Yak. You, like the plant, you, or you. Y-E-W, a you, juniper, gong, whales, Paxton, proactive, proud, prairie, silvery, Sylvia, Renee, Rosy, Wiz, Ax, Axel, Axel, Oversea, Overland, something, I'm hearing uh, the Battle Hymn of the Republic, Oversea, over. We will hit the dusty trail, and those caissons go rolling along. Okay, that has meaning to somebody out there. Um, I, I am hearing Ohio, Omaha, and Ogden. And that's what I've got for you. Till our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Take care, everyone.